In this video, we're looking at the best fish ramen in Shinjuku, my top five. From delicious modern shrimp-based skemen, or dipping ramen, to delicate flying fish ramen, these ramen restaurants are at the top of the heap in Shinjuku. Let's do this. I'm Frank from 5AM Ramen. I was born in Tokyo and I eat a ton of ramen. This channel is dedicated to bringing you the very best ramen in Tokyo and the very best ramen in Japan. So Shinjuku is busy, crazy, it's also neon drenched, and is the Tokyo that you often see in the movies. It's also a ramen battleground, or gekisenku in Japanese. Now ramen often includes a lot of ingredients, whether it's chicken or pork bones, a number of different vegetables, and also, in one form or another, fish. And for these five ramen shops, the ingredients are not just fish, but fish definitely takes center stage. In no particular order, here are my top five Shinjuku fish ramen shops. Think of this as a virtual ramen tour. Stop. Clocking in at number five, we've got Flying Fish Ramen at Yakiago Shio Ramen Takahashi. And the ramen that they serve is the same as the ramen shop's name. So they use flying fish, or tobio, from Nagasaki in their ramen. And this flying fish is charcoal grilled, very unique. Alongside that flying fish, it's a milder tonkotsu, or pork bone based soup. It also has some fish dashi, not just flying fish. We've got curly, relatively thin noodles, and in terms of toppings, we've got mizuna and white negi for some brightness, and also two styles of chashu pork. One is slow cooked, and the other is your more standard. In terms of flavor, it's a salty broth with a bit of a sharp fish flavor, but it's not as intensely fishy as you might think. In addition to their Shinjuku Honten, or flagship store, they have another branch in Shinjuku. They've also got shops now in Shibuya, Ueno, and Ginza. And lastly, we got 5 a.m. ramen alert because they are open until 5 a.m. You can get your fix during the wee hours of the morning. Yuck. Now, moving on to number four on the list. We've got Menya Kaijin. Kaijin means God of the Sea. And as you'd expect, they probably have the fishiest ramen on this list. Just like a Takahashi, it's a shio or salt-based broth. But here, it's more clear and transparent. And what that does is allows the fish flavor to come out more. But it's a very gentle fish flavor. They blend seven plus types of fish together, and these are all seasonally changed. But the fish can often include Thai or sea bream, booty or Japanese amberjack, conger eel, and salmon. The list goes on. For toppings, they've got negi, ginger, myoga, or ginger flour, and also chili pepper strings. These delicate toppings match a delicate broth. But maybe what's not as delicate is their baseball-sized meatballs. One of them is shrimp and minced cod, and the other one is a chicken meatball. Delicious and very original. With their extra thin noodles, they use two types of wheat flour, and they're also prepared with charcoal filtered water, very unique. You can also order fried onigiri on the side. Now they've got a spicy version of their ramen here, and you can choose the level of spice that you want, but I would recommend, if you are gonna get spice, staying towards the lower level, just because you can enjoy more of this very special broth. And lastly, even though they're not halal certified, they are halal friendly because of the ingredients they have in their broth. Next up, we got number three. This is ramen hosenka. Now the fish that is the centerpiece at this ramen shop is golden eye snapper or sea bream in English. The madai fish is very important in Japan and it's also supposed to be one of the tastiest fishes out there. And what they do is basically take the bones from this fish and make a beautiful golden colored broth. It's very elegant and refined. And like the shops on this list, there's not a strong fish smell. I think an important part of ramen is that how do you make something delicious while maybe also minimizing the smells that you get? Very aromatic, and there's a certain smokiness also that comes from seared kimedai on the top of the bowl. The other toppings include ultra-thin pork that is slow-cooked, diced red onions, and also hosaki memma. This is the top half of the bamboo shoot and it's a little fresher tasting. These toppings are all very modern touches. And lastly, their thin noodles are made with whole wheat and they got a nice bite to them. Ramen Hosenka comes from the company INGS. They also operate Ramen Hayashida and Suzuran in Shinjuku. 
Both are massively popular ramen restaurants. They also have a number of pizza restaurants as well. I also want to point out that the owner of this company is actually from Shinjuku and he decided that it was in Shinjuku that he was going to do ramen battle. Next up at number two is Skemen Gonokami Seisakujo. This restaurant is a little bit closer to Shinjuku Gyoen Mai or the Shinjuku National Garden, a beautiful, beautiful place to visit. Now this company has a couple of ramen restaurants, but the Shinjuku branch is their most centrally located. And the company kind of has a concept of using food byproducts or items that you might otherwise discard. Don't let that turn you off because they really, really elevate shrimp with their skemen or dipping ramen. Now they've got their go-to shrimp skemen, but my personal favorite is their tomato shrimp skemen. This one is rich and thick, it also has a wonderful acidity coming from the tomatoes. Combine that with the shrimp flavor and also some miso. You've got a very, very modern take on skemen. On top of the thick whole wheat noodles, there's also a little bit of pesto and some bread to mop up everything at the end. So they definitely have some Italian cuisine inspiration here. Coming back to the noodles for a moment, they make their own noodles in house and they also sell them to ramen shops. Great, thick, high quality noodles and modern skemen at its best. But just be warned, this place is probably gonna have the longest line out of the five on the list. I've got for you three honorable mentions. These could have easily been in the top five. They're delicious. But with two of them, I'm stretching the definition of fish ramen a little bit more. So first up, we've got Ichigen. Ichigen is from Hokkaido, and what they do is also showcase shrimp just like a gonokami. But here, it's more about ramen instead of skemen. And their ramen, you can basically customize quite a bit. You can get miso, shoyu, or shio as a base, and also customize how rich you want the flavor, and if you want thick or thin noodles. Excellent, excellent bowls. Now, the Shinjuku shop is not their main shop, but they do it justice, of course, in Shinjuku as well. Now, next up, we've got Menya Musashi. Menya Musashi has been around since the 90s and their Shinjuku shop is their main branch. Back in the day, they did some interesting things that nobody else was doing. This included not just using sardines for their niboshi, but instead of that using mackerel or saba. They've also got a little bit of a samurai theme going on inside the ramen shop. We'll talk more about them in another video. And last on the honorable mentions list, we've got Funji. Now, I'm stretching it a little bit too because this one is not just about fish. They are known for having a chicken and also niboshi, niboshi broth. They were one of the pioneers behind this style that uses two soups. One is creamy and kind of rich coming from pork or chicken bones. The other is fish based and more sharp. So we have to pay our respects to Funji and they're also located in Shinjuku. Ichi. And now we're at number one. I said there wasn't really a ranking, but let's make it more dramatic. Number one. We've got ramen nagi, or sugoi niboshi ramen nagi. Nagi is a ramen institution in Tokyo and of course in Shinjuku. Now they're in Golden Guy, which is an area very popular with locals and tourists alike. And in the middle of all these bars, there is ramen nagi. Now they are the king of niboshi ramen. What niboshi is, is dried fish, normally sardines. But at nagi, they use 20 plus types of niboshi in their broth. They basically reinvented the niboshi ramen wheel. If you've never had niboshi ramen before, nagi is a great place to start. Even though they use 20 different types of niboshi, it's all very well balanced. They've got a deep, deep flavored broth. It's also a very rich broth and with a strong soy sauce flavor. And right on top of the bowl, they've got a nice spicy oil. There's some nice nigi there for crunch. There's generous helpings of pork chashu if you want it, and also a giant sheet of seaweed. Now they have multiple shops across the city, but you probably want to visit Shinjuku because there's a certain mystical power that I believe it has. Now their noodles, they've got two types. One is a paper thin, very wide flat noodle. That's a lot of fun to kind of dig into the broth to get out. In addition to that, they also have wavy thick noodles that have a lot of water in them. So they have a wonderful bounce when you chew into them. Overall, very well balanced, very unique bowl of ramen, and again, an institution in Shinjuku. 
Oh, and for Ramen and Nagi, we've got a 5 a.m. ramen alert because they are open all night, 24 hours. You can get their delicious niboshi ramen at any time. This is Frank from 5 a.m. Ramen reminding you that Tokyo is the only city in the world where you can get awesome ramen at 5 a.m. And we saw two of those on the list here today. Thanks for joining.